Tonight, a Farragut man is left facing questions after his mother died while on a trip to the Dominican Republic. At 6 o'clock, we told you 53-year-old Layla Cox died at the Excellence Resort in Punta Cana. She is the fourth American tourist to have died within a month. Reporter Kirsty Crawford joins us now here in the studio. And Kirsty, much like the other cases we've been talking about, there are so many questions surrounding how she died tonight. That's right, and William Cox, her son, tells me that his mother was very healthy. She lived in Staten Island and walked everywhere because she didn't have a car, so she would walk miles a day. He says she was in more shape than he is at 25, so ever since he heard about his mom's sudden death, he's been fighting to get answers. I wished her a happy birthday, and I told her I loved her, and that was the last time I spoke to my mother. Will Cox told his mother Layla goodbye over the phone before her week-long birthday getaway to the Dominican Republic. She loved the Dominican Republic. She loved Punta Cana. She, she told me so many memories from there, and she wanted me to come with her and see it one day. Cox says his mom left on the 5th to the Excellence Resort, a place she's been twice before. This time, though, tragedy struck out of the blue, reportedly a heart attack, but Cox is not convinced. My mother was too healthy to pass away of a heart attack, which is what the Dominican Republic claims is her cause of death. Cox in contact with the U.S. Embassy, having to make a difficult decision about his mother's body within the next 24 hours. If it was up to the Dominican Republic, in 48 hours after her death, they would have already cremated her and sent her on her way back to the United States. Cox called U.S. Representative Tim Burchett and his lawyer for help. Cremation now delayed until Monday, but there was another issue. He wants his mom's blood tested for answers, and Dominican Republic authorities won't do it. So you're telling me every toxicology machine in the Dominican Republic is broken, and they said, yes, Mr. Cox, and we do not know when we're going to have a new one or repair the old ones. And that was enough to confirm my suspicions that there's something not right here. Those suspicions, same as the other families who lost healthy loved ones vacationing in the Dominican Republic over the last month. It's hard enough when you lose your mother. It's hard enough knowing that she's in a foreign country and they are not cooperating with you. I just simply wanted to know how she passed. Now, other reports have said alcohol in the mini bar could have been the trigger for these deaths, but it has not been confirmed. Cox says his mother's trip was all inclusive, though he's not sure that her room included a mini bar. He is waiting to hear from the U.S. Embassy to find out if a blood sample can be flown back for toxicology. Kristen. All right, Kirsty, thank you so much. Just a tragedy. We hope he gets answers soon. And by the way, everyone, Cox has a GoFundMe set up to help get his mother's remains back here to the United States. And he says he is very grateful for the help of his lawyer, Greg Isaacs, and U.S. Representative Tim Burchett tonight. We'll continue to follow this and keep you up to date.